Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Rolling with Robert, spicing up your sex life. Well, of course, it's Wednesday, and here is your spice for the week. And don't forget to check out the trailer teaser I got going on of sex toy soap opera called One Life to Live. Peace! All right, well, I was able to just uh, handpick a few of these uh, the bushel of letters. I took out the ones that are pretty embarrassing. So these are going to be embarrassing questions that uh, you probably don't want you you want answers to. So, so stick with me. All right, this next question: Can anal sex give me hemorrhoids? Well, what kind of man would I be if I said yes? <laughs> right. Hemorrhoids is a result of excess pressure in that area. Or maybe when you're... You know, like when you're doing this a lot. And yes, anal sex, if you are tense and, you know, gritting your teeth and, oh my God, he's going to stick me. Then, yeah, you're going to have that intense you know, pressure in that area and then... Blam, you know, it rips, damages those veins. So, check out the link, or you gotta go at it very smooth, you gotta be relaxed when you try it. So if you're relaxed, everything should go fine. Lubrication, remember, moisture, moisture is the key. But uh, lubrication will help, but be relaxed. And, uh, and then no, it, you won't even be scared of having hemorrhoids or even thinking about it and if, if ladies if you go out ahead and, and have anal sex more and more and be relaxed at it it actually can prevent hemorrhoids yes it can you know it improves the strength and the flexibility of the butthole so take that advice and uh, give that a try ladies let's have some more anal sex on there, you, you know, because that hemorrhoids is out there ready to come at you. Peace! Our next one is about cyber sex. Is it cheating? According to women, if the guy's even on the computer, he's cheating. But, um, you know, us guys, they. We got this kind of rule thing going on with uh, if it's cheating or not. Kind of like a you know zip code thing, and then there's the uh, if there's not actual penetration. Oh shoot, there's a whole list. But um, you gotta ask yourself. If your partner was doing it, would you be all right with it? Now I know I would, and I know my wife would, but would you? That's kind of like the difference on is it cheating or not. So just ask yourself that question and uh, you'll get your answer. But if you feel that your partner is, is on the computer too much talking to, uh, three different people or whatnot, maybe they're not getting um, enough in the bedroom. You should definitely talk to your partner about that and say, and be open and honest about it. Try that. I mean, the only time guys are really on the computer, I mean, it's bad enough you've got to talk to the women, but play with them online? No, they're just looking for porn and whatever the case. So take um, that advice, and I hope it works for you. Alright, I think we're done here. So, uh, go ahead and get dressed. And uh, go ahead and tell, the, if you don't mind, uh, tell the next girl to call me. Alright. Uh, last question is about a, a lady oh, who's no. concerned about her vaginal smell. Now, 
Other than that, girl, ninety-five uh, percent of females uh, think they smell bad, but they smell just fine. They taste fine too. You know, but if you are concerned, and you should go see your OBGYN or me, and because you could have an infection or some seepage or something going on there. But if you find that you don't have an infection, you know, try try changing your diet. You know, not so much spicy, pungent food. You know, that, that, might, that might work. But hey, <clears throat> I recommend, you know, an over-the-counter thing called Refresh. You know, uh, it, re it rebalances the vagina. Yeah, it rebalances. And, and it... it makes the pH readings come back, you know, and who would have thought it, that they have pH readings, you know, and, and it smells good too, but, um, but guys, wait an hour and a half before you, uh, dive right in, okay, you might get a cramp, so, but, you know, don't use any douches or any feminine, pro feminine products, you know, they can irritate and alter the vagina's, uh, Laura. So, um, and it, it, it can increase your risk of infection and can mask, you know, one that's in there. So, um, um, so yeah, try it out. Well, thank you guys for rolling with me uh, with Rolling with Robert, spicing up your sex life. And um, stay tuned for next week for uh, another week of spikes so and don't forget to click on the link for my uh, premiere for the uh, adult toy story thanks <laughs>